I got it delivered to our new place and it came in a ginormous box. Like it was humongous. It didn't take me that long to put it together. Uh, the instructions were pretty okay. It took me about one full episode of some reality trash TV. So I'd say about 45 minutes. It took me to put the whole back together. Of course, Instagram stories got the first look at my new bike <laughs> when it was all put together. I was so excited. <laughs> The fact that I was able to do a whole hour of cardio in my leopard slippers is epic enough. <laughs> so one of the features on this bike is an odometer. It tells you how far in miles you have traveled accumulatively throughout all of your workouts. The only way you can reset the odometer is you take out the batteries. Pressing a button will then cycle you to your calories. The computer will estimate how many calories you've burned during your workout. The display will show your speed in miles per hour. The distance feature calculates the total distance you travel during each workout. Next feature is the pulse feature. So the computer will display your pulse rate in beats per minute. You have to hold on to those silver handle grip sensors while you're exercising and then you will get a pulse readout. And of course, then you have your time feature which shows you how much time has elapsed during your current workout. So it will go from zero minutes all the way up to 99 minutes and 59 seconds. Of course, during my workers, I have to get some TV time in. Sometimes I'll even work on my website <laughs> and it's really super convenient. I'll push it up like against my desk in my office and you know, I can work out from there. I can work out at the dining room table. It's just really, really convenient. Another awesome feature is the scan feature. So you'll see at the top left, it says scan. So it will cycle through each of the settings every six seconds. So it'll go through calories, speed, time, distance, odometer, pulse, every six seconds. The last couple of features I wanted to mention is the reset button. So you just basically hold down the button for two seconds and it'll reset everything but the odometer back to zero. The other is the auto on and off. Um, of course, it'll cut off automatically after four minutes of being idle. So it doesn't waste your battery. Speaking of battery, it only takes two AAA batteries, so that's awesome because you yeah, definitely have those around the house. At this point, I've been using the machine for four months, pretty much every day for four months, and I have yet to have to change the batteries. And my latest discovery in awesome is my iPad holder. So I have a iPad holder that has a keyboard on it. And basically I just drape the whole thing over the control part of the machine. And I can just watch my iPad all hands-free and awesomeness. <laughs> so smart. It does come with a tension control knob. So you can decide if you want higher tension, lower tension. It comes with a safety rod, so it'll stay in place when you have it in the working position and it'll stay in place when you have it folded up for storage. 
The seat is adjustable. There's an adjustable knob which you can use to control the height of the seat. And of course my favorite feature, the bike can be folded up for storage, so you just remove the safety rod, you fold up the bike, you put the safety rod back in, and you put it right in the corner. It takes up barely any space. As you can see, this is my small apartment in my small office. <laughs> Last but not least, yes, the paddles do come with straps to allow your feet to be comfortably secure. So those are a thing and they are freely adjustable. <laughs>